Right now at four, pushed down and a gun held to her head. Armed robbers target a woman in her backyard with her daughter just steps away. It was a total violation of safety. And it happened in our backyard. Tonight, CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is in Beverly, where the family is coming to terms with the ordeal. I thought that I wasn't going to be here anymore. Michelle Pettiford won't watch her home surveillance video, which captures the moment she and her 12 year old daughter were carjacked at gunpoint. They just pulled into their garage in the back of their Beverly home. Two men ran up the driveway and pushed Michelle to the ground, demanding her car keys. Michelle's daughter runs inside and calls police. She ran upstairs, used her phone, dialed 911. Uh, by the time we came back in, she was on the phone with 911. She handed it to me. I talked, so I knew right away how, how courageous she was. Get out, give me the keys. The suspects become increasingly angry, looking for the keys to Michelle's car. You see Jeff try to de-escalate by telling them to take his car parked in the driveway with the keys inside. He helps them start his car. The two suspects eventually jump into his car and drive off, leaving the terrified parents on the ground in their own backyard. I looked at how they treated um, my wife and daughter, 12 year old, and, and I know that they, they will hurt and kill people. And they're, there, they're out there now doing the same thing. We showed the surveillance video to retired Chicago police detective Eugene Roy. He says each family member, mom, dad, and daughter did the right thing, giving up their property, getting help on the way, and above all, remaining calm in the face of terror. They already have a gun to your head. At that point, comply, do your best to talk low, slow, and calm, defuse the situation. And this family wants you to be aware and prepared, now believing this can happen anywhere. The family says they're grateful for the entire community coming together to support them in the days after this traumatizing event. Police say they are continuing their investigation, but right now no one is in custody. Reporting in Beverly, I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News.